Hello, today I'm going to show you how to write a check. If you'll see on the screen, I have a check that it, there does not have anything on it. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to fill in about six of those parts. The first thing we want to do is that we want to enter the date on this check. Now here I'm showing on the left two ways that you can enter the date. You can spell out the month or you can write it with a number. So I'm going to take this and place up here as our entry for the date. Next thing you want to do is write in or, or uh, do it in script the name of the person that you want to give the check to. So let's assume I'm going to write this check to Jane Doe. So you write in the name of the person or the company that you want to write the check to. Next thing you want to do is that you want to enter in the dollar amount. Now it's really important that you put the numbers as close to that dollar sign as possible. Now since I've got that in, up here uh, already, it's kind of hard for me to to go as far to the left as I can. But what you don't want to do is leave enough room that someone can write in another number in it to make it larger. Then the next thing that you want to do is that you want to go to this long line here and actually write in the amount of the check in words. And again, you want to start at the far left so that no one can change that number. So in this case, it was $236.16. Uh, so you write 16 over 100 and then put you a line as far as you can go with your pencil or your pen rather, all the way out to the word dollars. Then the next thing you want to do is you need to sign your check. You always need to sign your check the way that you filled out what they call the signature card, the form that you filled out at the bank. So in this case, I signed mine as Jimmy R. Stroud. So that's how I want to write my check. Now here's printed, but you actually need to write it in cursive. Then the next thing that you, that you can do is write out what this check is for. Over here on the left, the word memo is shown. Uh, this word memo may be something like re or for, and all you're going to do then is write in what the purpose of the check. So I'm going to say this is a car repair. Now after you have filled out this check, what you want to do is record it in your check register. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a check register. So in this situation, let's say that we started out with a balance of $654.20. So then I would put that here and then I'm going to take the check number. Do you remember that check number 1206 was the check number? Then I'm going to enter in the date that I wrote the check, which was uh, April 6th. And on the purpose, I'm going to put or the transaction uh, for car repair. And the amount of the check was 236.16. I'm going to put that up here under withdrawals because that's exactly the amount that will be taken out of your account. Now, then to get a new balance, I want to subtract 236.16 from 654.20, and my balance is 418.04. And you would do this for every transaction or every check that you would write. I hope that you've learned something. Thank you.